next person is Justice Gaines. You're now unmuted. Justice. Thank you. Um, I just want to echo what Carlos said. What I saw last night was a disgusting, a despicable show of force by the Providence police. They pushed protesters back from the public saf safety complex and then chased them past the schools and through Elmwood. They chased people. That's what they did. It was not about protecting a perimeter. It was not about defending themselves. It was about showing and intimidating young people who were out there because a young man was thrown off of his moped. And the way that they came at protesters, I saw a boy get tackled by about eight to, to 15 police officers in front of Burger King. And I really don't care that people were throwing water bottles, okay? There were a few firecrackers, there were a few fireworks. I was closer to some of them than the police were. But the fact that the, po the police chose to continue charging at, at, at young people, they, they charged them across four blocks, if not more. That is an unacceptable behavior. And the fact that the, our city leadership could stand there and commend them for that behavior is utterly irresponsible during this time. And it must be understood that they did not conduct themselves well. They conducted themselves by showing their power and their strength, supposedly, against unarmed folks who were maybe finding rocks, right? But that's not a police baton. That's not a helmet. That's not tear gas. That's not having their dogs out. And my question that I would, I would sincerely ask you all to ask the police chief is why did they show up in riot gear in the first place? Because I've been to dozens of protests in Providence. And it seems like the only time that they show up prepared with riot gear is when they know it's black and brown people protesting. Thank you, Justice. Uh, we will do just that. So appreciate uh, you coming today and offering your, uh, your thoughts about uh, what is currently happening in, in our city.